Hang on, brothers and sisters. Liberation is near. It's almost time. Hey, man, he's from where? Really? Yeah, yeah. Me and Westgate Damn. from where? Yeah. Dude. I saw and, uh, Westgate before. He was just Westgate. He lived in Parkwood and just had his little ramps in his driveway. Little baby bogger, dude. Back <laughs> then, yeah. You seen he was skate shop days. That's yeah. where we all started. So yeah, skate shop brought it. I remember that was awesome. You couldn't even do a fifty fifty stall because you hit your head. <laughs> and yeah, there, I remember that. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I literally remember hitting a tile on that. Yeah, room. like just you know the quarter pipe that was on the one yeah. side. Yep. Where it was like the gap over the rail, and there was a quarter pipe yep. right there. Just I like, oh my god! So perfectly. Those people what were is, so cool, man. Yeah. Down, yeah, they're awesome. I right. feel like the people that own. Uh, What's the skate park now in where you live? Oh, uh, Taunton, Skater's Edge. Yeah, Skater's Edge, like that guy. I feel like those guys were like the people from, you know what I mean? Yeah. They were like that cool, you know? Kind of took yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, they are. They really are. Like just so down. Yeah, I they actually, were cool. They were I, so cool that they let everyone start, start, start skating for free and then that pretty much. kind of shut yeah. it down. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, this one's not a question, but I'm psyched to ask it. His, this is Staten Island on, on uh, oh. Instagram, some dude. I don't mm-hmm. know who he is. What do you think? He wrote, and I'm, I'm sure you'd like to rebuttal on this. <laughs> he wrote, he used to run around the banks like he owned it, like mid to late 90s. Dude used to get on my nerves. No disrespect. <laughs> I don't know how that can't be disrespectful. Right, but, right, right. No, that's fine. But everyone's I, got something to say. So. I actually think that's awesome that uh, he brought that up because I feel like you do need to own your spots. Especially like, there. Like, yeah, well, yeah, no, you know what I mean? It's like, regardless of that, because, you know, I don't have any... You know, I don't own anything, but I feel like when I grew up skating in New York City and I showed up to any spot, the locals kind of like, they owned it. Yeah. That, that's like their house, you know what I mean? So, and you got to respect it. And once you give respect, you get respect. So I think that's, a, to me, that's a compliment actually. No, yeah. That, because I feel like, you know, you should have ownership of your spots because, you know, no one else is going there and they're your spots. Yeah. You know what I mean? I so. Agree, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I wish kids did that more because, you know, you want to, you do want to, because you do, you, know, it, you don't like physically and figuratively own it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But again, I do think uh, you should take ownership of something, of a place that you frequent a lot and you skate. You know what I mean? Well, like, as simple as like, you spend so much blood, sweat, and tears at the banks. Right. You should maybe clean it up, take ownership of it, and right. clean it up, and try to save it, and shit like that. Like, that's the same yeah. level as what you're saying. And I, what I was saying before about the banks is, there you kind of do have to ride around like you own it, because back in the day, that place was chaotic. Yeah. If you went in there and just didn't know what you're doing, or too yeah. nice, you wouldn't get a skate. Right, right. Because dudes exactly. were like, bam, bam, bam. No, so you gotta kind of I went to that, you know, the first, I remember skating in the early 80s, the first time I showed up there. It's like, you're intimidated like crazy. But again, I think it's something that made it that much better, yeah. you know, and then once you, you know, become part of it, then you don't realize it, but you're doing that to the people that are showing up for the first time. But that's the way it should be. Yeah. You know what I mean? It should nothing. I don't know. It might sound weird or whatever. I agree. Like this is some old dude, but you know, anything that's handed to you is not as good as something that you like no, you are part of it. and you work for. You know what I mean? Absolutely, dude. So, that's, that's, so thanks for the compliment. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a good <laughs> way of thinking. Um, I wanted to talk about um, past team riders. I wanted you to kind of do a list of uh, past team riders so people can know who rode for Fibro. Right, right. Oh Besides, we are, I rode for Fibro, so you don't have to listen to me. But. Right, right. Uh, oh, my God. I don't know. I'll start with the first two riders. I don't know who was the first rider, but like Dan Pencil, Ben Wall. Uh, two homies to this day. Pencil is the longest, you know, every, I think he says he was the first guy on Fibro, yeah. and he's still on Fibro, so he's been the longest. Iron ass. Yeah, yeah that's Dan his Pencil. nickname. Um, I don't know, there's so many people that have ridden for Fibro from, like, some names that people will be like, really? Like, you know, flow pack, just like Brian Wenning back in the day. I'm, I'm kind of, like, trying to go through chronologically. Oh, no, that's good. Um, you know, people like Nick Dompierre, yeah. Uh, Aaron Susky, you know, you, um, Westgate. There's there's just so many Peterson, people. Mike, Mike, Mike Peterson, Mike Peterson, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I have all that and the, all those are my scrapbooks right there with all the stuff from back in the day that has all the team riders. Right and there. Andy Henry, the current brand manager of Converse, who was the team manager for Nike. Um, he was one of the original five bro riders. 
JP Locks, who's Homage Brooklyn. I remember. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was one of the original riders. Uh, Tato Feliciano from Puerto Rico. Yeah, one of the Tato. Riders. Um, I don't know if people are gonna get mad. I don't say their names, but uh, sorry if he leaves you. Out. You know, one of some. I'll tell you some of my favorite riders are like original five bro crew is kid Jim Young, um, who was like a lot of people. You know, he's from Ithaca, New York, or someplace up near Ithaca. He was amazing, just like such charger and like back in the day, like you know, some someone that like you know, I think a lot of the riders that I chose to ride for Fibro who actually, you know, they chose, but again, it was a process of you know a mutual thing. Yeah, I think it was people that I always like, like aspired to skate like or something that something about the way they skated, whether it's like their drive or their tricks or their pop or whatever it is. Like, I think it's something that I chose because that's something that I lacked, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to be like, damn, that dude's so good because of that. But it, it was because of my, you know, my thinking about how it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not because it's for a specific thing. And again, I like to always have it, like, you know, mix it up. Perry Morgan was a girl that yeah. skated for five, bro. You know what I mean? Again, and I'm not saying she was, like, better than any guy at the time, but she was a girl that ripped, that was, like, total bro and down. And to me, that's like, that's the kind of person I want to ride for five, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? She was definitely part of the team, and it was sick. Um, that was rad, too, because it was it's not always considered cool to have a girl on your team. Oh, it definitely wasn't cool to have a girl yeah. on your team. But to me, I was like, you know. She's awesome. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. You know what I mean? There like, should be no borders yeah, yeah, yeah. in skateboarding, for no, sure. It was, it was dope. Uh, Nardelli, since back in the day, who's taken on a role. Like, well, Hoisington. You know, um, Hoisington, definitely. Uh, yeah, Emmett, the Saudi. Emmett Bennett, yeah. yeah. Emmett. I mean, there's like, and it's what's crazy is that, it's crazy that you're interviewing me because where you're from, so many people that wrote for Fiber are from where you're from. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you think about it, there was the whole time when, you know, Solstice was a big supporter. We'd go up there all the time. We'd go to Skater Island. It had a lot to do with, uh, you know, geography. You know what I mean? Where people support us, where people identified with Fibro being East Coast brand, you know what I mean? Other cities, things like that. And honestly, I loved going to the Northeast because everybody was so cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it was like right away, it was just like, oh, these guys are so dope. Yeah. You know, like I remember, you know, you know, meeting Emmett, meeting you, whoever, and just like right away, there wasn't even like that break in period. You know what I mean? It was just like right away, everybody's cool. Yeah. You know, whether it was like, I feel I feel like skating right there in that area, even today now, there's uh-huh. really not there's no cool guy vibe. It's just like especially if you're a company and you come right. in, it's like people are just hyped to see skateboarding thriving and brands and like it's cool, it's an honor to have people come to our area still. Because right. it's not a city, you know what I mean? It's yeah. so broken up yep. in different areas, so it's just like it's rad that we all kinda keep it together, you know. What Ryan I mean? Wybest. Yeah. One Wybest. of the best styles. That uh, tells same as Wombat. Same. Yeah. The Wombat, <laughs> uh I don't know. There's so many. I feel bad. There's so many names on that. I'm just trying to think. Uh, I don't know. But what, what about um? Where? What about the nicknames? Every, does every team rider that ever gets on Fibro have a nickname? I think that uh, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of different because it's been the changing the guard. You know, I mean, there's like there's I guess some people that were involved with Fibro who are people that were totally instrumental to making Fibro what it is. People like Seamus Deegan. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like Tombo. Black Heart D. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, like those people and, you know, working with me obviously back in the day and more now Nardelli and Tombo. Is um, Tombo, Tombo's the team manager? Tombo is the team manager of Fibro and he's, you know, kind of like a marketing guy now. He's totally, you know, he's so on point. He's just getting everything done with Nardelli and, you know, I've kind of handed the reins to them. Uh, Nardelli being brand manager and creative manager now. So it's just like, back to the question is, you know, about nicknames and stuff like that. Everybody had like, I don't know, at the time it was such a, a tight crew that everybody had to almost have a nickname. Yeah. For some weird reason. I don't know, because I always give, would give people nicknames, stuff like that. And Ardelli would call, give me nicknames, things like that. So it was always like that. And I don't know, to me, that was just like how tight it was. You know yeah. what I mean? That it was like. Everybody'd be like, well, "What did you just call him?" <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what? But I thought his name was Emmett. You know, yeah. Or, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know. To me, that's like friends more yeah. than more than like team riders. Yes, they're team riders, but it's like family, friends, like all wrapped into one. So I don't know. To me, that was a sign. I think whenever people would get involved and they wouldn't get a nickname, 
to me there was like something wrong. Yeah, like, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh <laughs> yeah, something with the dynamic or the chemistry went wrong. Yeah, makes you know sense. what I mean? Like, yeah. let's change something. You know, another rider is Pat Smith, oh, who's yeah. someone What's that up, Pat? was kicked off fibro twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he's him and anyone who knows Pat, he's a bit of an asshole. At yeah, times. I haven't seen him in a while, so he might not. Be, I think but Pat it's Smith awful. is probably the only person. <laughs> Besides Wilkins, maybe Charlie Wilkins, someone else, you know. Oh, Wilkins, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. How did Pat get kicked off twice? Once he, I think he was in Europe on a tour with Nardelli, and he was just being Pat Smith. So we got, you know, and then got Nardelli, the ass. yeah, it was just like, dude, what? And I don't know, he was causing like so many problems. I don't know, whatever. How do you get back on the team after? I guess that's a better question. No, no, then he, because then he moved to New York. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? And then he was like back on and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of funny. I don't know. Because I have right there Pat Smith's letter. It's the, the letter he wrote to me to get on Fibro. Oh, sick. I have that thing I sent you, your report card. Yeah. Like, I have, like, all those binders up there are all that stuff. That's wow. awesome. It's, right. like, all the stuff I kept. Right, like, a week before we came up here, Steve sent me a photo of a report card that I sent him. Yeah. Cause because I told him he had to stay in school. Yeah, because I was doing shit in school, and I never, I don't even remember it right. at all. So when he sent it, I was like, "What the fuck?" And it was honestly the one you sent me uh-huh. was the best report card I ever had. Right, right. Because I think I've shown you before. I have a file of uh, shit from school that uh, Mrs. Tool saved for me when I was living with them and their family. And it's seriously, I have a couple that are straight ass, right, all right. four quarters, like right, horrible. Right. But the one that you had, it was all A's and B's in one sit, which right. is the best I've ever done. I graduated school. Probably because of you guys. Right. Because right. skateboarding, you're like, you better because, stay Yeah, it was exactly it. Because I remember I was hearing, and like, people would tell me, and they're like, oh, he's not doing too good. So I just had to talk with him, and you probably don't even remember. And I was like, dude, you know, if you want to be a part of this, you part of it is you got to stay in school, and you got to do well in school. And I was psyched because he was so, like, psyched and proud to give me this report card. I, I, <laughs> I totally, like, remember it so clearly because you were so dirty. <laughs> he was, like, completely covered, like... Head to toe, skating this like flat bar. I don't even know what it was. You were like so dirty, and you were like, when you saw me, you were like, you were so psyched. You stopped what you were doing. You came and you gave me the, the report. And you just check it out. I was like, that's awesome. That's dude. probably the hardest I ever worked in school. For yeah. sure, it was. For it sure, it was yeah. awesome. And it's not that I wasn't good in school. It was just that I didn't give a fuck about it. I yeah, didn't want to do it. In the skating. Yeah. yeah, I just didn't want to do it. But that made me focus. And but I, you got it. No, you you actually listened to what I said. When I said, you know, it's you know, it's a good like whatever, it's a fallback, whatever it is. You yeah. just you kind of like listen, which to me made me so psyched. You know what I mean? I, I think for me personally, it was just the idea that someone's like, you know, you work hard, you'll get rewarded. And right. for you to be like, hey, show me that, and I was probably so psyched to show you because I knew you'd be like, oh, sick, and yeah. I've done it, and give praise. So it's cool. And uh, actually, Ramsey, uh, another thing I like to tell people about Steve is uh, back in the day, he wouldn't let me sit on his couches. Ever. Dude, so dirty. I was a dirty kid. He was kid. actually telling me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would let me in. His apartment was really clean and nice. He and he'd like, don't you dare fucking sit on the couch, sit on the floor. <laughs> like, I was just sitting on the floor the whole time. And I, well, I understood it completely, but I like to tell people he's an asshole. You can sit on the couch now if you want. <laughs> I'm pretty dirty still. But I don't know. It looks nice. He was telling me the story how he was staying with you one time and... He came back too late or something, and right. you had locked him out, right, and right. you weren't answering your buzzer. No, because I had because no, because it was the doorman. Yeah. I know what it was. Yeah. It's like if you came back after two a.m. or something, something like that. Yeah. I would have to go downstairs to, to open the door for you. Yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? Because it's it's like it was like this situation. Yeah. But here the doorman's twenty four hours, but there the doorman wasn't twenty four hours. So after two a.m., if you come back, I would have to like get out of bed or whatever, go downstairs because back then there'd be like. 10 dudes staying in my apartment. Yeah. Literally, like, every, every, like, day, For basically. Sure. You know what I mean? They could so, have been from Japan, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be know. like, okay, well, you know, you have to be back by a certain time because I don't want to go downstairs. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he was beeping. I was like, I'm not getting out. He did, he yeah. did this, he did. Sunned him. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured yeah. he was just, like, just out. I asked him, I was like, was it nice? He's like, it was nice, though. I was like, yeah, see. I slept, I slept <laughs> on the bench. If it was, if it was like today, I don't, I don't think he would have. A lot of the home. dudes, honestly, would sleep at Demo, at the park right there. Yeah, that's right. I, well, I slept, there was the one that they <laughs> the closed little park. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to hop the fence and stuff. I, I only slept in there it. for like two hours or something, and then I couldn't really sleep. It so. was sketchy back then. It was a little it bit. It was pretty sketchy. It was. Ben Wall actually got uh, knocked out Damn. on in that park. No shit. Like right next to that park. He got knocked. Someone 
hit him with a bat. Damn. And he still has like a ball spot from it. <laughs> yeah, and, but he doesn't he doesn't remember anything. Cause yeah. We were all just chilling, having Joe's pizza, whatever, you know. And Ben's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go take a piss in the park," you know what I mean? And then like an hour and a half later, like, "Where the hell's Ben?" <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we just see him walking on the sidewalk, like looking Blood at head. us, but not he's not like confused. you know. He's like all confused and stuff. And then we he turns, he has blonde hair, yeah, or brown hair, whatever it is. And you just see all blood, dude. Jesus. He was so he was out for like an hour. Did they rob him? Yeah, of course. Everything? Totally yeah. robbed him and just like any raping. Uh, so maybe. maybe. Hopefully not. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you might have enjoyed that. So. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Ben. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what about what? It, what about Peterson's nickname? What was his nickname? Peter Dong. Peter Dong. That's yeah. What <laughs> and I just saw. I just saw him. I think at uh, down at either I just saw him at Tampa or one of the Tampas in the last year. Oh yeah. But uh, he's still awesome. Classic dude. Yeah, he is exactly the same. Like never changed. Just so dope and like. You get hyped to see that guy skate. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's just like, you, he, you can totally tell. He's just like, damn, that guy's having fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, no matter what, I feel like he's never had a bad time on a skateboard. Like, even when he, like, would twist his ankle or when he, I remember he was in New York, he hit his elbow and he literally got a staph infection. It was, like, this big. Oh, my God. He was just like, he's like, I'm fine. I'm in New York. I'm chilling. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? Like, with the accent, it was like, I don't know, best. Yeah, Best uh, guy. he, um, my friend Mike Hathaway, which I'm sure you know him, you've met him a few times. He actually works with Peterson down in Florida right now, really? at the same bar and everything. That's and they awesome. skate together and shit. Right, right. So my friend moved down there and he was like, I don't know if I'm gonna know anyone. And then right. he met Peterson and it was like, buddy, so yeah, Peterson's like, that's dope. awesome. Um, I want to get into uh, who the current team is. Maybe give a list just to like so people know who the current Fibro team is. Like, cool. We got Dan Pencil. Still pro. Oh, yeah, pro. maybe list the pros first. Yeah, we got uh, Danny Fala, uh, Joe Tukmanian, Willie Akers. Those are your four pros? Yeah, who am I forgetting? We have uh, Rafael Gomez in Brazil. A professional Yeah, Brazil? he's a pro for Fibro. He had one of the series boards. Awesome. Uh, we have Akira Ishizawa in Japan. Hell yeah. Still riding Fibro. He's still killing it, which is amazing. Um, you remember that trip? Yeah. And actually, uh, I didn't get it, but... Uh, I'll probably get it tomorrow. Um, Chris Naracco found a box from Big Brother. Oh, really? Of like old photos, and he just sent. He took a photo, and oh, it's like nah. it's those it's those photos from that place. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah but he goes, oh, dude, I found some crazy photos. Of you guys from Japan. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. But uh, who am I forgetting? <laughs> I got really Joe. No, Jimmy's not pro yet. No. Who am I forgetting? Dude, Jimmy. So Go to the site. Go to the site. I feel right. like I feel like yeah. I'm we don't want somebody. we don't want to forget anyone at all. Um. And this person that I am forgetting is like probably like I can't believe he's forgetting me here. Is it just fibro.com? Yeah. Um. In in Japan, it's like customary to go into the hot tubs, and you're not supposed to have any clothes on. So we are all reluctant to do that. It sucked, but uh, we did it. And fucking Dan Pencil comes up from behind me and fucking dunks my head under the water as a oh, jump. So I basically get dunked my head juice. in dick soup. Yeah. Dick soup. I was like the flow trash at the time. Guillaume. Right? That's what I forgot. Guillaume Delute, he's uh, from France. Oh, all right. Hell yeah. He's sure. actually, he actually had one of my favorite parts in Joy Yeah, he shreds, dude. Yeah, yeah he, he went so to good. all the classic New York spots, did something at each spot. That guy's amazing. So, and Jimmy's your Am. Uh, Jimmy is Am and... Uh, let me think who else is official because we have a lot of flow guys. We, uh, the flow, I know they're kind of like the flow names the best because I'm always psyched on the flow guys the most. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Trahan, who is like yeah, an awesome skater. Good tray flip. Uh, Rob Gagne from Queens. Yeah, Rob's amazing. awesome amazing. Like his style so dope. Camel Pants, too, yeah, man. I like definitely. it. New York. Um, who else am I forgetting? Jimmy, obviously. Um, I don't know. I know I'm going to get shit for this. God damn it, Steve. But, I don't know. That's that's the crew right now. It's a pretty tight crew. Um, who am I forgetting? A lot of flow guys like Dave Abair. Because the way it, the way it's set up, it's a little different than it used to be, how Tombo and Nardelli set it up now. Where, you know, for me, it was always like, the, I wanted this huge flow crew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because then I would, you know, you'd know who wants it the most. And then those guys would be, you know, they become amps. You know yeah. what I mean? So, but now there's like a little bit more structured and uh, I don't know, because I think that, I don't even know how I was able to run all the stuff when I was doing it. <laughs> you did. You know what I mean? You so, I don't, I don't know, but I just had like a huge, I want.